How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 17 shootout commentary. And today we're going to take a look at the poor New York Islanders, a team that's on the brink of a full on rebuild. That's right, I said it. They remind me of someone trying to swim upstream. Gar Snow can sign and trade all day long, it won't save the John Tavares era in New York. Their first problem is the Metropolitan Division. The Islanders just cannot keep up with the likes of Washington, the best team during the regular season for the past two years. Pittsburgh, the best team in the playoffs for the past two years. The Blue Jackets and the Rangers, who both have much deeper squads. And hell, even Carolina or Philadelphia, who are on their way back up. The second and bigger problem is that they have no one to help out their franchise centerman. John Tavares has spent eight seasons in New York, and his line mates during that time have been guys like Kyle Ocpozo, Franz Nielsen, Thomas Vanek, Matt Molson, P.A. Parento, Andrew Ladd, and Ryan Strome. You know what these players all have in common? They are either playing somewhere else or not producing at an elite level. Look at Crosby. He's got Malkin. Look at Taves, he's got Kane, Kopitar is Doughty, McDavid is Dreisaitl, Ben has Sagan. You get the point, right? Tavares has nobody, and this will be hard for Islander fans to hear, but that's why I say he's Gonzo Alonzo next year. So let's talk about the Islanders from the Tavares perspective. If Johnny T leaves, then the Islanders will be forced into a rebuild. That's obvious. I don't think anyone would argue that point. If he decides to stay, then yeah, they can continue their tweener ways, but I don't see it happening. Why would Tavares want to re-sign with New York? Other than Nick Letty, the only players locked up long-term are overpaid veterans like Andrew Ladd or Johnny Boychuk. Then you have your quote-unquote core players, such as Josh Bailey, Calvin DeHaan, and Anders Lee. But the problem with these guys is that they're all unrestricted free agents within two years and can leave if they choose. Now, Gar Snow, the general manager, did try to send a message by trading away Ryan Strom in exchange for Jordan Eberle, who I do believe will make New York a better team. Eberle is a far greater goal scorer than Strom, who, other than one good year, hasn't had much success in the NHL. So good trade right there. We'll see how him and Tavares work together, right? But the problem with Eberle is that he only has two years remaining on his contract, which means he could walk along with everyone else, unless the Isles are one of the best teams in hockey next season. What's the incentive for these players to sign long-term and stick around on a losing team, right? So there have been talks about Matt Duchesne possibly being traded to New York, but I don't know if it's possible after the Ryan Strom and Travis Hamannick trades. Perhaps they can make a move with Matthew Barzell, Ryan Pulock, Joshua Hosang, a first, a second, you know, some sort of combination. I don't know. But I see this as adding to the current problem, not solving it. Matt Duchesne is a stud, no doubt. But like Everly, he's also an unrestricted free agent in two years, which means he could walk, leaving the Islanders with nothing. Imagine they make all these trades, all these signings, and they lose everyone to free agency. And they're stuck with nothing. So do you see why I don't think the Islanders can solve this issue? It would require too many things happening at, at once. It would require more unrealistic trades. It would require that all pending UFAs on the Islanders decide to re-sign. It would require a few big free agency signings in the future to help plug up the holes. They would need breakout seasons from the prospects they haven't traded away. And even if they could pull everything off, it still all means nothing if John Tavares doesn't sign. And that's where I think we're headed. Look at Connor McDavid or Carey Price, already re-signed long-term, and it took no time to get it done. Tavares could have been signed by now. All right, so if I'm Gar Snow, I have a huge decision on my hands. Do I keep Tavares and try for the playoffs to help convince him to sign next year and lock him up, or do I take the hint? He hasn't re-signed. He's going to say the right things, but do I take the hint and trade him before the season starts. His value is only going to, dimi to diminish. Now, the idea of trading John Tavares may seem crazy, right? Sacrilege! How could you trade that guy? But think about the idea of him walking away for nothing, pulling off a Zach Parise to the New Jersey Devils, right? So, what do you guys think? What would you guys do with John Tavares if you were Gar Snow? Do you think the Islanders have any chance to be competitive next year? Go nuts in the comments section, guys, because I want to know. I want to. I, I see a team like Nashville. You know, I was wrong about Carey Price going to Nashville, but John Tavares to Nashville. It's like Phil Kessel being ruined in Toronto, gets sent to a, a competitive team, and he's two for two winning the Stanley Cup. Send Tavares to Nashville, baby. Stanley Cup contender, just like that. 
So uh, go nuts again. Go nuts in the comment section. I want to know everything that you guys are thinking. And I would also like to thank our first Hall of Fame Patreon supporters. Matthew Salage, Joey Rocha, Goose Gaming, G Nasher113, Joseph Gallo, and Wacklint03. Thank you guys for your support. And I also want to let you guys know that we're doing an MLB franchise mode live stream for the Oakland Athletics Year 5. We're going to do a complete year in one live stream. And that's going to be this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, noon. So don't miss it, guys, and I will see you there. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch, where the live streams come to life. Rocko!